So this is the second of three videos showing you how to use uh, our church organ. This one's specifically dealing with the pre-built tracks that came on the card here. Um, these are specially formatted MIDI files that trigger a lot of extra functionality on the organ. For instance, it will trigger uh, the stops to change and some of the swell data coming in from the pedals here. And it's going to sound very expressive and very, it's going to sound great. So in order to get to it, um, we're going to use this, this knob here. So it says scroll down, scroll down, select and press yes. So this is the scroll and then yes is right here. So if you can see the screen there, I'm going to scroll down, I'm turning the wheel to the right and we want to get to this one right here, which is load song file. Okay, so I can press yes and it's going to bring up the different folders. So now, I, I really don't like this about this, this unit, because sometimes it wants you to scroll and then press yes, and then sometimes it wants you to scroll and actually push down on this knob. So here it says push dial equals open folder, and push yes equals open file. So I don't know why we can't just always press yes, but it doesn't want us to. So we've got different folders in here. We've got cla uh, Christmas, Classical. This is the folder that we'll be dealing with in video three because um, I, I put most of the files I loaded in that folder. Some funeral music, some gospel, Haggerty, um, Lent and Easter. This is something you can ignore, system volume information, and then some traditional hymns. Of course, update you can ignore as well. There's some wedding songs pre-built. So let's go up here to Haggerty. This is um, where the majority of the good like pre-service style music is. Um, so it says to push the dial to open the folder. So I'm just gonna press down and click on that. And it brings us up to the actual, uh, the items in that folder. Okay, if you, if you see here, we've got this plus dot dot. So that basically means go up a folder. So if you, if you choose the wrong folder and need to go back to that main menu, um, you just simply need to, to press the dial on that and it's gonna take you right back to where we were before with Christmas classical, etc. I go back to Hegarty and I'm gonna press down and that's gonna take me into the Hegarty folder and now we've got all these different songs. So um, you can ignore the folder for PDF. Um, so I'm gonna open up Saint Anne Meditation. Um, pressing, pressing this doesn't do anything, which is annoying, uh, but it wants you to press yes to open the file. So I'm gonna press yes and it's gonna open that file up and I, I wasn't showing you the, the console here, but it automatically, or maybe it hasn't done it yet, I'm not sure, um, but it will eventually automatically adjust the stops and uh, get everything ready for this piece. So now we're ready to go. Um, it's, it's got tempo here. Um, it's telling you the organ volume, all this stuff. And it says at the top, press play to start. So play is right here. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna show you, maybe you'll see the stops change. Yep, they automatically change. press stop which is actually more of a pause I believe it's still it's still on measure 8 there um, so it, it automatically changed the tempo to 68 it, it's adjusted all these volumes it doesn't do a lot of that till you actually press play um, so I pressed stop but that really functions as a pause because you can just continue I can stop it again but once it is stopped if you wanted to start it from the beginning you can press play and that'll take you right back to the beginning. You see, measure one is where we're at now. Now you can control things like tempo, so I'm gonna spin the knob here until my cursor's on tempo. I'll, I'll stop so you can hear. So um, I can adjust these parameters. I'm turning the knob and it's changing the cursor to different things. So I can, I can, if I'm done, I can go to done. Um, I can change the organ volume. I can change the tempo too. So by pressing this down, it's gonna let me edit that value of 68. 
and I can put it up to 100 and something, 127. So here we go. I can keep going. think Hegarty would be too happy with that, but you can do it. So you've got some control over playback here. All right, I'm going to go to done now, and let's just choose another one. So I'm going to press the little knob. Oops, nope, it's not going to go. I guess I have to hit yes. Like I said, it's annoying how sometimes you have to press yes, and sometimes you have to click the knob. So if one doesn't work, just do the other. Okay, so once I did that, it took me straight back to this screen, um, which is where we wanted to be before, right? This was basically where we go if we press function, okay? And so I can roll, scroll down here to load song file and uh, hit, hit my knob. Oops, nope, hit yes. And then I can start to choose another one. So I'm still in the Hegarty folder here since that's where I previously was. Let's load up Trumpet Voluntary. So I'll hit yes and it loads it in. And uh, before I press play, I'll let you see what it does here on the console. I press play, it resets. So from there, it's basically just a, a matter of figuring out which songs are working the best and which ones you like and uh, calling them up when it's time for them to play. So good luck. The next video will be about playing the uh, MIDI files that I loaded in.